Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasman, and today we are looking at story problems that have multiple steps, one of which includes multiplication. We are in our math journals, uh, Unit 4, Lesson 8, pages 128 and 129, in a uh, group of problems that is ironically titled, Making Travel Plans. Of course, in this uh, season of uh, coronavirus, we should not be making travel plans, we should be... Uh, socially distancing ourselves, but this was written before 2020. It says, college students in Santa Barbara, California completed classes and are making travel plans to go home for the summer. Use the information in the chart below to help them plan their trips. If needed, draw a diagram, such as a measurement scale, to help you solve the problems. Now, the first thing that catches my eye is the fact that we're dealing with a couple of different units of measure. We're looking at money, and we're looking at time, okay? So there's a couple of variables that we might have to deal with. So some of the problem might ask us for an answer to be represented in terms of money, and then some of these problems might ask us to give us an answer in time, okay? So let's take a look at the table. It says there's a destination, an approximate travel time, and then they tell you the price by train and then the price by bus. So, for example, it costs $31 to take a train to Los Angeles from Santa Barbara versus $22 if I just took the bus. Okay? So let's take a look at some of these problems. So number one actually has two parts. Okay? Colleen, Amelia, and Teresa are going home to San Diego. They buy three train tickets using two $100 bills. How much change should they get from the cashier? So let's think about what we know so far. There are three college students, and they need to buy three train tickets. Well, that would make sense. How much would three train tickets from Santa Barbara to San Diego cost? Well, by train, it would cost $42 a person. So what do I need to do to find out the price? I need to multiply three, as in the three students, times the train ticket price, which is 42. So 42 times three. Now you can choose whichever method you like best. I'm gonna choose uh, partial product. So I'm gonna multiply 40 times three, and I'm gonna multiply two times three. Well, 40 times three is? 120, or 4 tens times 3 gives me 12 tens, and then 2 times 3 is 6, add those together, I get 126. That's not my answer, because that's not the question I'm being asked. What's the question? How much change should these young ladies get from the cashier if they use $200 bills? Two $100 bills is the same as saying... 200. So now what I have to do is I have to subtract 200 minus 126. And oh, you probably see it. There's going to be some regrouping. So two $100 bills. That cashier is going to have to make change, meaning that they have to break up the amounts into smaller uh, amounts of money. Okay? So I have no ones, I have no tens, so I go all the way to the hundreds, and I make two $100 bills into one $100 bill and ten tens. Then I'm going to take one of those tens and break up that ten into ten ones. So two $100 bills becomes one $100 bill, nine tens, and ten ones. And now I can subtract. Ten minus six is four, nine minus two is seven, and then 1 minus 1 is 0, so my answer is 74. And because the uh, fine people who make these workbooks included that uh, dollar sign, we know that 74 means $74. That's their change. Okay. Let's pick a different problem, one that involves time. Okay. So it says... How many minutes longer will the girls' San Diego trip be than the boys' Los Angeles trip? 
What boys? What are we talking about here? Oh, I skipped around because in problem number two, Juan, Terrence, and Rashad, and Adrian are going home to Los Angeles. How much more would it cost for them to buy four train tickets and four bus tickets? Well, I don't need to solve that problem in order to solve this time problem because all I need to know is right here up in this table. Okay? I just need to know that these four boys are going to Los Angeles, and that takes three hours. And the three young ladies who are going to San Diego takes them six hours. I don't even have to do scratch work with this one. I could do mental math. Okay? Because six hours minus three hours is three hours. So my answer is three ah, minutes. Why'd they do that? Just to see if I'm paying attention. All right, let's try again. All right, so six hours minus three hours gives me a total of three hours. But I'm looking for minutes. And how many minutes are in an hour? Well, that's right, 60. So I just got to multiply 60 times 3. Well, hey, I can still do that with some mental math because I just need to ignore this zero for a hot minute and multiply six times three. Six times three is 18. Six tens times three is gonna give me 18 tens, otherwise known as 180. And now I can solve my problem, 180 minutes. So these multiple step story problems that involve multiplication are really just trying to see if you're paying attention and they're uh, revealing uh, an unspoken truth about life is that mental math, the kind of math you're doing when you're at a train station or a bus station or looking online, making shopping purchases when you're in the store, when you are calculating gas uh, expenditures, uh, when you're at the pump, all these kind of mental math things sometimes require more than one operation. They sometimes ask you to convert between units. Uh, rarely is a uh, uh, everyday math, and not everyday math, capital E, but like a lowercase e, you're out and about every day doing math. Uh, these kinds of problems sometimes have multiple steps, and they require more than one uh, operation or thought process or conversion. Okay? Nothing that you can't handle. You just have to recognize the steps and take them one step at a time. Uh, here's a step that you can follow in case you don't know quite what to do, and that is to reach out to your math teacher. Ask him or her for help. If you don't understand how I came up with 180 minutes, if you don't understand how I came up with a difference of $74 or would like some help with any of these problems... Talk to your math teacher. They will be happy to help you. That is what they are there for. Otherwise, friends, we will talk again soon. Have a good day. Thanks.